Not only can you engage at range, but with a little time, actively dominate the playing field, fluidly switching from a 200 meter headshot to grinding the most seasoned tank driver to a halt, or better yet, an early grave. Well adapted and all rounded, you can fortify better than a sniper, but deal with a more varied amount of situations that may arise, while still being a threat to anyone that gets up close. Soon the gods of war will have your name on the tips of their tongues, as you obliterate anything that stands in your path with a barrage of thunderous bullets, high explosives and RPGs. This is the avid marksman's build. Just don't go too Rambo. Hello and welcome to my channel, I'm Avid Gamer. You imagine if I'd done all my videos like that? <laughs> Alright, so anyway, today uh, we're going to be using the Gewehr 43. Uh, this is my specialization chain or tree, whatever you like to call it. Now it's important that you pick this pathway. Uh, high velocity bullets, uh, enhanced, enhanced grips, uh, and then your quick reload and then your recoil. Um, so it's important to pick this pathway. I think this will make it... Uh, the most possible lethal combination that you can get for being a marksman with this gun set up. I mean, you could go the other way around, but it's really important to uh, have the fast velocity in your bullets, but also uh, really handy to have uh, the detachable magazines and uh, just make your reloads that little bit snappier. Now, you can see, obviously, you want to be taking your standard dynamite and your Panzerfaust. Uh, just basically your uh, your normal setup for the assault class. Uh, when when I rank up a little bit more, I will be using the anti-tank grenade bundle. So that's something to keep in mind just to switch out later. So anyway, let's get started and uh, just show you how to use this thing. So you want to uh, just be patient, line up your shots nice and easy. Most It, it normally takes three hits or, or three bullets to drop anyone. Uh, a little bit quicker if you get a headshot in there obviously. But uh, once you get the swing of this gun, uh, just, just honestly, it's it's a really good gun, up close, at distance, at range. You know, once you get the hang of it, but the, the biggest part or the the biggest bonus of it is you're able to engage the tanks. Now that's something I haven't been able to do properly since Battlefield 4. Uh, I really used to enjoy uh, playing with the tanks in Battlefield 4. You know, and uh, you had the the C4. Um, equipment piece like your C4 and Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 1 came along and they took it away um, and they gave it to the assault class and we, st we still haven't got it back yet the snipers you know we got K bullets it wasn't very effective and uh you know so I'm really happy that I can use a, a DMR for the, for the assault class and uh become a marksman you know so it's, it's right down my street you know I can combine a little bit of sniping with a little bit of tank play and honestly once you get the hang of it I'm sure everyone will be enjoying it out there, you know, like like I say, it takes three bullets to drop people as you just sort of see in these little clips here, but you know, once you eventually get to sneak up on, on that creepy little tank, <laughs> you know, you can uh, really be devastating on the battlefield with this combination, you know, it's, it really is such a good combo. Like here, I was trying to run towards the church, see a tank up at the end of the street, I'm not sure what uh, model a tank he is, uh, I think he's one of the heavy ones. I hit him a few times with a Panzerfaust down here. Um, one of my other teammates, uh, he's uh, engaging him at the moment. Like you can see him up there, the little green guy. Uh, he's running around. So look, the tank's occupied. I managed to get a little flank here, stick a couple of dynamites on him. Like I say, I think he's one of the heavy tanks, so it doesn't quite kill him, but uh, it distracts him. He turns to fire at me, and that allows my teammate to finish him off. So, you know, your real, real good, important tank hunt role that you could adopt also whilst you're combining in the sniping and, and stuff like that, you know, it's such a good role, I'm really enjoying this role, I can't recommend it um, any higher really, you know, get yourself the DMR, the Gewehr 43, start working on the specialisations that, uh, that I showed at the beginning. And, uh, you know, just, just go out there and experiment, you know, like, uh, you'll start picking it up, you'll start getting a feel for it. Um, 
I'm, I'm honestly think this is going to be the class that I'm going to use the most. And I know everyone always thinks I'm more of a traditional sniper, and that is true, uh, especially in Battlefield 1. I really, really enjoyed the sniping in Battlefield 1. Uh, Battlefield 4, I really enjoyed it as well, but in Battlefield 4, I did like to go the other classes occasionally, um, like the engineer and stuff like that, you know. I didn't mind doing a little bit of support and stuff, but um, I think this is where my heart is going to be at for uh, Battlefield 5. I think I'm going to be adopting this combat role kind of multi multitasking a little bit of sniping a little bit of vehicle play uh, and obviously supporting your teammates uh, you can hang out with a sniper you know there's a sniper just to my left behind me there um, you know so I'm sticking with him giving him some support you know because no one likes to snipe alone especially when you get rushed like by the enemy team like two three four people at one time and that's not a problem with this uh, with this setup. Anyone tries rushing you when you're behind rocks and stuff like that, all you got to do is just uh, pull out your dynamite, lay a little booby trap, and uh, yeah, there you go. You'll take them out. Just trying to think with clip. Yeah, here we go. This is a clip here. I think I'll get rushed here. I'm trying to snipe this guy. Now, see these two guys trying to creep up because uh, I've already killed them a couple of times. So there you go. They're not expecting that. They, they obviously think I'm sniping. And uh, next thing you know, they're getting rockets to the face. <laughs> a little bit more explosives than they're handled. Uh, little, there he goes, to my left. So as you can see, you're quite able to deal with anyone that tries rushing you. So you, you haven't got to worry about it. Uh, Mid-range, no problem. You know, just taking out people left, right and centre. As soon as you get the feel for the gun, that's the most important thing. As soon as you work out your range and how many bullets you need to be firing into people... Uh, I'm sure you'll be uh, loving this setup as much as I am. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, just a little bit of a quick one today. I didn't intentionally wake up uh, with a f the, the intentionally. Oh Christ, I'm going off topic now. <laughs> See, this is why you really need to script things. Look at the beginning. The beginning was f like, well, it was all right. I wouldn't say fantastic, but it was a step in the right direction. <laughs> So uh, yeah, like I didn't wake up with the intention of uh, actually recording commentary for this today. I was going to leave it a day or two, but you know, I just thought I'd get it out of the way. Um, just just grind it out and uh, be positive. Yeah, I love that little clip there, you know, just take out the AA gun. I love this class. you got to try it. Just go build this class now. Spend a couple of games trying it out and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Anyway, I think this is the last clip that I'm going to leave you with here. So I've been Avid Gamer. I hope you've enjoyed this Avid Marksman build. If so, leave me a little like, leave me a comment. Uh, if you're new to the channel, drop me a little subscription. That'd be very much appreciated. Uh, a big thank you to everyone who's been sticking with the channel. All that kind of good stuff. So anyway, I've been Avid Gamer and I'll see you soon. I'll treat you, pal.